Can you tell us a bit about yourself and what you do? Sure, my name is Keith Duffy and uh, I'm at the moment preparing to open the Trafalgar Studios for a play called A Handful of Stars. My background is I come from uh, a music background, a uh, band called Boys On, uh, back in the 90s, 21 years ago in actual fact we got together and um, we ran out for about seven years and from there I went into Coronation Street and then I shot a few shows in Ireland called The Clinic and uh, Be More Ethnic and a few other TV shows and I've done a lot of theatre over there too. Um, this is my, my UK or my London theatre debut. Uh, well it was when we opened in Theatre 503 earlier in the year. We've just transferred here to Trafalgar Studios and um, we, we have our first preview tomorrow night so it's all very exciting. And what's your favourite part of what you do? I think the, my, my, my favourite part of, of this business is the performance. It's getting on stage, having done the preparation, having worked through the rehearsal period and then getting on stage and, and turning into the character that I'm trying to portray and, and, and you know, making people believe that I am that character and, and living that story while I'm on stage. I just think that's, that's a, a very exciting and terrifying thing that we do and um, it's what makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck and it's, it, it's what makes me tick really. Um, I, I'm, I feel very blessed at the opportunities that I've been given in life to be able to perform on stage and, uh, and it, it, never gets, it never gets old, it never gets tired. It's, it's something that I really, really enjoy. When was the first moment you fell in love with theatre? Well, the first play that I did was back in Dublin. Uh, it was a show called Dandelions. I was on stage with three ladies and myself, um, Polly McGlynn, Mrs. Doyle from Father Ted, and many Hi. other things. Uh, Deirdre O'Kane, who's um, currently playing the lead in the movie, um, what movie she the lead in? Um, Christine Noble, um, and Don, Bra uh, Don, Don Bradfield. Uh, Don's a lovely actress, she's, uh, she's actually a, a Tony nominee. And the three of us did a show called Dandelions, a new play written by a lady by the name of Fiona Looney. And um, I'd never did it before. Obviously, I'd done a lot of performance on stage, but never, never theatre, never, never portraying a character on stage in, in a play. Um, and I just remember walking out on stage and being absolutely terrified, like a rabbit in the headlights. And um, by the time I finished my performance, and came off stage, I, I was just so excited, and, and the energy was buzzing in me, and, and my adrenaline was flowing, and I just kind of felt alive. It really made me feel alive. And I thought, wow, I love this. This is this is brilliant. Um, and then I went back and did an older play by John B. Keane. I did a play called Big Maggie. And um, that was set in the 1950s. And uh, I remember we toured the whole of Ireland, every theatre in Ireland we toured with that show. And every night I came off stage and it never got boring. It never got old, it never got tired. It was just, it was just brilliant. And, and coming from my background, it was difficult to get roles like that. So things have been coming along very nicely over the past few years. I've, I've put the time in. I feel I've, I'm earning my stripes. I have a couple, I need a few more. And then um, it's all going in the right direction. Yeah. What advice would you give your younger self? Um, I don't, what advice would I give to my younger self? Um, it's a very hard question to answer because I started off, like I say, in a band where we got very, very successful very, very quickly. We made a lot of money. And you know, with, with with money and fame comes, you know, insecurity and and, and bad decisions. Really, um, I've always had a very good head on my shoulders, and my feet have always been stapled to the floor. I have a great family background, but as a young man, I suppose in that industry, I you know, I did party an awful lot. I did go a bit crazy. Um, I don't regret that. But if I was to give myself advice, I'd say just calm down on that and and enjoy the moment. You know, because it's over in the blink of an eye, and you have to appreciate it and not take it for granted. And, you know, enjoy every day. You know, and because when you look back on them, they're going to be the you know the greatest memories that you have. So make sure that you kind of remember them. There's a lot of uh, shady moments that I can't remember. <laughs> you know, so I suppose just to embrace the moment. Sure. And finally, if your life were a musical, what would the grand finale be? Uh, well, it's funny. If my life was a musical, there, there you know, there, there's a, there's a complex thing to try and explain. Like I said, I did like the party, and I, and you know, I suppose true insecurity growing up, the way I used to hide my insecurity or my shyness would be to be loud and obnoxious, and I didn't realise that until I'd kind of grown up a little bit and got a bit of life experience, and then I realised why I was so loud and so needy to be the centre of attention. Um, 
to play my life as a musical. Though I remember a, a, a journalist travelling with us at one at one time, back years ago when we were fortunate enough to fly to Modena and perform with Pavarotti, and uh, a journalist travelled with us, and um, there was all sorts of shenanigans going on. Um, in Italy and going out at night and partying and then obviously the performance itself and the headline of the article was Keith Duffy, a one man led Zeppelin. So how would you put music to a life that I've led? I don't know. Um, uh, you know, I, I love the big rock ballads from the 80s but then again I, I love the likes of Metallica. Um, I love, I love, you know, I love ballads, I love modern day ballads, you know, Alicia Keys, you know, a lot of song, I, I find, you know, songs give me the ability to show my emotion, whether I'm on my own or with people. So, it would be very difficult to put the music together for a musical of my life, but it would be very entertaining. Sure. Thank you very much. My pleasure.